something all men have experienced either directly or indirectly, is the pain of getting kicked, punched, or tapped in the crotch. Whether it was an accident or intentional, this is widely accepted as one of the most painful things a man can experience. But why does getting hit in the crotch hurt so much? So if you didn't know, the family jewels hang low to maintain a particular temperature of about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Unlike other organs, this part of your body lacks any muscle, bone, or even fat to cushion and protect from impacts. If you were hit in the crotch at a speed of 7.5 meters per second, and the collision was completely elastic, your lower extremities would be propelled to about 140 miles per hour in less than a tenth of a second. If this punch was directed to you in the face, the skin and fat would dissipate the force, and the underlying muscle would absorb the rest, with the skull protecting the brain. In essence though, this is a pretty hard punch on the body even when it does have protection. But it's more like a dent in your armor as opposed to being punched directly in the brain. Pain is intended to warn you something wrong is going on, and you need to fix it as soon as possible. The lower body has an insanely high density of sensory and pain receptors, as well as a vast network of nerve endings. The question is, why does this pain spread around the body and seemingly into the bodies of every other man who saw the testicular manslaughter occur? With a signal speed of about 270 miles per hour, the same nerve that is responsible for your crotch also covers the stomach and abdominal region, as well as the heart. This leads to the abdominal pain you feel, which sometimes results in nausea. The release of endorphins decreases oxygen levels in the brain, leading to nausea as well, but also terribly painful throbbing headaches. As an innocent bystander, you may flinch or even have phantom reactions, even if you're not the victim. It is believed to be a result of mirror neurons, which are thought to trigger minor reactions to others' pain. These empathy neurons are responsible for you to flinch and even cringe when you know it's about to happen and when you see it happen. The coupling of vulnerability, importance, and neuron linkage results in a very, very sensitive piece of equipment. But how painful is this injury? It's actually not one of the most painful. It's the concentration and variation in types of pain that is what makes this so harmful but the short duration is the final saving grace. 